All right, hello everyone, and today our topic uh, is about politics, and because of that, I'm not going to say the name of our Lord. The politics is dirty, and nothing good about it. Uh, we heard <clears throat> in the news that Trump he decided to withdraw the American army, USA army, from Syria. Let us hear what he said, and then we will make our comment. We've been fighting for a long time in Syria. I've been president for almost two years, and we've really stepped it up. And we have won against ISIS. We've beaten them, and we've beaten them badly. We've taken back the land, and now it's time for our troops to come back home. I get very saddened when I have to write letters or call parents or wives or husbands of soldiers who have been killed fighting for our country. It's a great honor. We cherish them, but it's heartbreaking. There's no question about it. It's heartbreaking. Now we've won. It's time to come back. They're getting ready. You're going to see them soon. These are great American heroes. These are great heroes of the world because they fought for us. But they've killed ISIS, who hurts the world. And we're proud to have done it. And I'll tell you, they're up there looking down on us. And there is nobody happier or more proud of their families to put them in a position where they've done such good for so many people. So our boys, our young women, our men, they're all coming back. And they're coming back now. We won. And that's the way we want it. And that's the way they want it. All right. <clears throat> well, we won. This is true. And, uh, you know, for sure, he have his own way to see things. Uh, this is the map in the front of us. Let us uh, this map act in weird sometime. This is the map of Syria right now. And this is the yellow area is supposedly where the American army is located, which is controlled by the Kurdish. Uh, you will notice here in the green area <clears throat> there is let me see if I can zoom in all right if you see those buildings here in the yellow area let me highlight If you see those areas here, those are oil field. All of this is oil field, a lot of oil. And the Syrian army, which is the official government, they have little of it actually right now, which means most of the ones, most of the oil uh, uh, field are controlled until now by the American. And that make the money goes to the Kurdish. Because the Kurdish are the one who is in control in the land. Yes, it's the American, but the one who get the benefit of this money is the Kurdish. Now, you see, everything have a price. I always, I really like to support the cause of the Kurdish, but the Kurdish, uh, uh, sometimes they go extreme, and they forget that they themselves, they used to be discriminated, and now they discriminate people who live under their command. So they start discriminating non-Kurdish uh, why because the American is there in their side and because we are strong so we can do whatever, whatever we wish uh, Trump is a person who went there or let's say our army is there before Trump and the mission is done and the mission is supposed to fight ISIS ISIS is still there is some in Syria but I mean, they are not really a reason for USA to stay there. There's a lot of forces there. They can fight ISIS easy. They are in the run and they are, you know, nowhere to be found, actually. Actually, this map, I believe it's an old map. Uh, the area here supposed to in the gray is where ISIS is. But the fact there's no more gray area. All this area is cleaned. Uh, 
they are like they are still exist there but they are not controlling an area they are in the run so the logic of Trump we are spending billions and billions of dollars giving it out to everybody to the Kurdish to the Turkish uh, to the Afghani etc it's time to go back home and I agree with him especially in Afghanistan because this war in Afghanistan there's no point of it let Taliban take over and if you need to hit them you hit them by airplanes you do not need to send one soldier in the ground that is very very uh, cost uh, effective and uh, very uh, very smart to do it this way you never lose even a soldier you can even fight them by a drone the same you do in Africa and Somalia etc you don't have a ground soldiers but still you are killing those terrorists everywhere now the bad news is for the Kurdish and here I hope Trump he made an agreement with Erdogan the terrorist Erdogan that he will not attack the Kurdish and he will not uh, uh, do mascara for them you know we know the Kurdish are in this area and they are very well armed but they are no match to Turkey they can give Turkey very hard time if they try to advance yes but at the end of the day Turkey is a 100 million uh, population country and the Kurdish is I don't think even there are a million people who live there so they don't match in power they don't match in army they don't match in money they don't match in anything uh, so I hope that Trump when he made this decision which I find it not really right because it's done in, in you know surprisingly and I believe there's something fishy behind I don't believe that this is happening just because okay it's time to go home and we are done because I never saw any leader in the world he make it this way and actually the now the Muslims they start saying we made victory over America and America is running when the fact is not America is not running they are withdrawing by their own choice nobody made them and nobody can make them and you know that don't be stupid and don't be fool the funny about Muslims each time they lose war they claim victory here we go you have an Islamic State and the Islamic State is dom demolished literally and now who is taken over is those who don't believe in Allah you see the the Assad yes he's a dictator but he is a person who don't believe in Islam at all they are Alawi Alawi don't pray Alawi they don't they, they have a mosque but they don't go to the mosque they go to the mosque only if there's a funeral <clears throat> Uh, they don't believe in the Quran, they don't practice uh, Salah, they don't practice Ramadan. The Alawi, they have nothing to do really with Islam. So the country controlled by the Alawi, who they are anti-Islam. And actually, the, the, the president of Syria, he and before him, his father, he prevented the Muslims from wearing hijab. To the point he sent his soldier in the street, if a woman she is wearing hijab, they will strip her out from her hijab right in the middle of the street. And this is telling us that how much this guy he hate really uh, Islam. He rejected, he fight it, and he is totally opposing to it. So now the whole Syria actually is controlled by both party who are uh, against Islam. The, uh, uh, the the Kurdish they are anti-Islam, and the Syrian army which is anti-Islam. Now for sure here we have Hezbollah which is a Shia. At the end of the day, the Shia. They are Muslim, really, but uh, I mean, they are different, different version of Islam, which is really weird and funny. Uh, you know, they don't mind really to drink and dance and do all kind of stuff, but they claim to be Muslims and they claim to be uh, people who they are uh, conservative. But the fact they are very lousy and they practice uh, sex uh, temporarily sex and party sex and fun sex and etc so can uh, syria now have only one one islamic uh, uh, side is taking a little tiny place which is supported by turkey and that is the green area here and this is where al qaeda are located And the strange is that Trump, he said he finished with the ISIS, but he didn't want to finish with Al-Qaeda. And I find that very much strange. Isn't Al-Qaeda really is our first enemy? Isn't Al-Qaeda is the one who did 9-11? So how you say that I finished and I will leave it? They are still in a city, it's called Idlib, in large. 
and here we see that there is some some kind of a deal there is a secret deal happening between Erdogan and Trump and we do not know what is that time will tell us what was behind I believe that this is all connected to what happened in Saudi Arabia about killing that person the terrorist Khashoggi uh, where the crown prince is involved in killing this person I think Erdogan he have a videotape and he's blacking uh, 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 blackmail the, the crown prince that there is things we needed to do for us otherwise we are going to publish it and the crown prince of Saudi Arabia who is very close to Trump they negotiate a deal with the Turkish and the deal is we get out you forget about it and we will leave you deal with the Turk with the Kurdish so we will see what will happen in the coming few weeks if really Trump he left the Kurdish alone to be slaughtered by uh, uh, by the Turkish regime and he will leave almost 40 percent of Syria for the Turkish to occupy uh, uh, for me I believe that the Kurdish if they are smart they should right away immediately to look for a new friend and the only friend they can find actually is either going to be the Syrian government or the Russian government and I believe the Russian government is more legitimate and more trustworthy this is what happened when you take American government as a friend you know history is not good in the side of America America always they leave their friend behind after they use him and they dump him and Trump he didn't he do not need the Kurdish no more he's a businessman so he decided to leave them behind the Russian they will not do that the same as the American they did before with the country it's called Georgia they made the poor Georgian go in aggressive in war with the Russian and when the war started the American they said to them sorry we cannot involve you know you are in your own so the poor country of Georgia humiliated the army almost destroyed and the Russian they ate them alive the same they are doing with Ukraine in Ukraine the American they fooled the Ukrainian and they told them go for it we are with you go against Russia we stand with you we will support you then the silly and the stupid you know, Ukrainian government or supporter of the Sasha regime they believe the American and they went against the Russian and here we go again bingo the Russia they did what they need to do they took Crimea and nobody dare even to open his mouth or even to shoot a bullet at them and the fact who dare nobody we have to be honest so you know uh, uh, there's many countries in the Middle East and in Europe they are trusting business countries you know America is a business minded country they do things for the sake of business nothing personal there's no friendship many other countries they have the mentality of our friends there's nothing no such a thing in politics there's no friends there's no neighbors but this is the mentality they think this is how the world work and they think they are still li still living in, a, in their own fantasy so when you go against the Russian they will leave you alone and you will pay the price which you cannot even imagine and actually the funny and the hypocrisy about uh, media in America I remember when uh, Obama was in office people they were saying to Obama why you don't stand up for Russia why you don't be a man and stand for R Russia I mean what what is this obsession uh, obsession with Russia and then because Obama he did not do anything all the Republican they accuse him that he is a coward and etc etc here we go Trump he don't dare to stand for the Russian and nobody will stand for the Russian because simply who dare only stupid ones who lost his mind he will stand against the Russian you have to be mentally ill sick and you are thinking of committing suicide Russia is not Iran Russia is not South uh, uh, North Korea this is Russia my friend it is the biggest country in the world and extremely extremely powerful so stupidity is amazing big mouth running everywhere people they seek war 
and they seek death but look like they are not aware what does that mean uh, and I believe the only winner until now in this war is the Russian not the Turkish the Turkish are a biggest loser actually Erdogan he destroyed his economy right now Erdogan is offering his citizenship if you buy an apartment if you buy a property in Turkey for sixteen thousand dollars come to Turkey buy an apartment I will give you citizenship this is how bad the country is it is it is collapsing it is totally collapsing and this is why uh, Erdogan trying to extend himself in Syria so he can get the benefit of the oil which you know Turkey has nothing of it as you see here this area is full of oil and uh, uh, Erdogan he is desperately trying to get there but there is no way the Russian they will let him get arrived to that area where is the oil located uh, so the story is kind of complicated and uh, there is a dirty game for sure and I believe soon the Russian they will take over all this area for this is the only way the Kurdish they can save their ass from being humiliated by the Turkish and maybe they will learn their lesson that next time they should not trust anyone and they should not uh, think that they will be protected by anyone forever and by the way we cannot say that the Turkish the Kurdish were used by the American not really exactly because if not the American the Kurdish there would be slaughtered by Isis anyway so at least they made you survive they armed you and they will leave you with a lot of weapon which is paid by USA money all of it every single bullet the Turkish the Kurdish they are fighting with it for the last eight years is paid and made in USA and that's a lot of money so the idea of Trump is enough is enough and we done let them clean their dirt with their own hands uh, somebody saying Turkey is a lovely country I, I don't believe you are right I mean I believe Turkey is very dangerous country first of all there's no country is called Turkey this is the land of the Byzantine and the Turkish they occupy it and they took our land from us and time will come and we will take it back however Turkey as a country is a very dangerous country it's where people kidnap scandal scam blackmailing you go right now and see and type the word scam in Turkey or kidnap in Turkey if you don't believe me go and check it out so Turkey is not really that beautiful yes maybe it's beautiful by nature but it's a very 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 scary country uh, you have to be careful you know I know I know a guy actually he parked his car in the front of the restaurant and they took the tires of the car from the other side of the car and they did not even notice <laughs> the, the car in the front of them the car is is, is uh, you know like uh, they, they see one side of the car when they finished eating they went out they found which means this they knew who is the owner they are watching them you know they knew where they are sitting they knew exactly what they see so he went outside he found two tires of his cars from the other side is gone and you are watching your car so imagine if you don't watch the car what will happen so don't tell me about Turkey Turkey is a really really bad bad you know country and this is why it's collapsing actually especially after the coming of Erdogan Erdogan he made this country is really uh, uh, it's full of terrorists full of Al-Qaeda full of Isis uh, full of money laundry uh, the currency of Turkey is collapsing left and right and uh, uh, the American money is what means making Turkey until now survive it is the silly American is the one who making Turkey still standing anyway I don't want to stay here long today because we will be back at the 3 p.m. I just wanted to share my opinion with this today is a Christmas actually not not many people interested to be here already it's a Christmas in many other countries so we wish you really a very Merry Christmas uh, with your family and we will be back later just to have a conversation we as a Christians and we might take some Muslims uh, for a snack you know to call us all right if a Muslim he want to call us he can call us you know just for fun uh, so I wish you a Merry Christmas and we will be back after two hours and a half let me see hold on uh, let me let me check again what is the time is it uh, 3 or 3 30 
Let us see. Okay, it is uh, three thirty. It's exactly almost three hours from now. So if you like to be with us, be with us three thirty from now, and I hope we will have a good time together. And again, enjoy your evening with your family, and Merry Christmas to all of you. Take care, and thank you very much for watching. Christ is Lord, and everything else is just a pure lie. Thank you. See you.